I found. I'm down here in the Uwari National Forest. I'm sitting up here. I found a really nice part of Moccasin Creek here. I've got one sluice set up. I'm going to set the other one over there. This one's going to be for what I consider a baby. I brought a quarter inch classifier with me today. And I'm going to see how many buckets I can get before the afternoon wanes. So it's afternoon. I got here late. Drove from Pennsylvania yesterday after working 11 to 7. And I'm, I was just worn out. So that's just the way that is. But I'll bring you back on when I got something to show you. Yep. Okay. I just did a couple of test pans from right over in the middle there. I classify them a quarter inch and I put them in here. And let me see if I can zoom this without knocking this over. There's a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of um, small piece of gold in there. I hope you can see those. But anyway, like I said now, now that I know with a test pan that there's fairly decent gold in there, I'm going to classify a couple of buckets, set up this other sluice over here, and I'm going to run a couple of buckets and I'll bring you back on, either for a cleanup or to show you what I'm getting. Okay, I literally have a bucket and a half. I classified that blue one over there with the quarter inch classifier. Let me make sure this thing's on. Ugh. And that about killed me. So, here I am. Is this thing on? <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't even know if I'm recording. Hold on a second. Yeah, it looks like I'm recording. Imagine that. I hope I am. Anyway, I got a bucket and a half. I'm going to run the, the bucket a half inch classified through this thing here. And I'm going to run the half inch through that, that sluice that I bought last time I was in North Carolina. From Carolina Prospect. Let me look at this thing. And I still can't tell if I'm recording. So let me set it down a minute to make sure. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to... Let you watch me for a few minutes till I can't deal with it anymore, and then I'm going to come back over here and pause you. I'll bring you back on for the clean-out to let you know what I get. Okay. I think I'm going to set this somewhere it's going to be safe. I believe you can see both sluices that way. Let's see what happens. Good material. I'll show you where I was getting it from after I run some of it. I did touch pans all over the place here. Now, I think I identified a pastry. Fairly decent. Oh, this is well, I'm going to have to run this with my hand. Yeah. That's 
That's another reason for me to pause it because it's going to take a long time to run it. I'm going to pause it because this is going to be a, a long drawn out thing and it's probably going to finish the day because it's already getting to be mid afternoon or whatever so I'll bring you back on when I'm ready for the cleanup. Okay, we're going to do a cleanup on this one over here. i got to take it out of the current to do it because that current just knocks those plastic sluices all over the place. So. I'm hoping you're going to see what I do here. I got a feeling this sluice is running way too hot. We'll see. I'm pretty sure there should be some gold in it. Thought I saw some in it. While well, it's running it. Cleans out easy, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to pan it into the bucket because I'm not going to take a chance on losing what I thought I saw in it. Yeah. So you can watch this part too. I think I got enough black sand in there to rival um, Rock Bottom Creek. Got a little bit better chance of there being gold in it around here, so that's all right. Let's take this. I'm going to show you this. Yeah, if I don't kill myself first. Ouch. Boy, that hurt. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this. Right there. And there's a bunch of gold and there's more black sand than I've ever seen in Moccasin Creek. So, anyway, I'll clean this up. And then I'll run the rest of this other sluice and we'll see what we get out of it. But this is all going in my cons bucket. I'm going to pause you until I get ready to do that other part. So. I'm 
Uh, I got a half a bucket left to run here in this one, filling up the leaves again. This inside bend here, I dug over in there. You can see I still got my scoop up there, but they get it. I dug down in between these rocks. I dug there. I dug up above. And then I dug right down through here. Right down through here, running right towards that spike strike sluice there. And I got good I got gold with every test pan. So that's where I've been digging my material out all along in here. Anyhow, I'm gonna pause you and I'll bring you back on when I'm done the clean out or when I finish do the clean out. Okay, I'm going to turn back on here. Uh, yeah, we're back on. I'll go ahead and do this clean out here. Uh, 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 Some stuff unclassified through this. So I'm gonna have mix of stuff to clean out of it. Tomorrow, Lord willing, the light don't or the river don't rise. I'll be down here with Benzo. JP and whoever's going to come along down here for the, the dig he's going to have here. So, there it is. I dropped my wing nut in there. my wing nut. It should be in this pan. Yeah. Alright, I'll bring you up over here and we'll pan this down and see, see what we get out of it. Well, get you situated here in a couple minutes here. And since I found my wing nut, I'll go ahead and put this, this sluice back together.
together while I still have everything that goes to it. I got a long hike up out of here. I'm supposed to be out here early in the morning, so... Let's try to get this done here. Okay, let's tilt you down a little bit, and I'll pan this into, into the bucket. Again, there's a good bit of... thought I saw a good bit of gold in it, so... I'm not throwing anything away. So I've had a chance to check it better. A lot of concentrates in that. Same material basically that I was putting through the other sluice. Uh, my back's trying to seize up on me. I ain't careful, I won't be able, won't be able to come out here tomorrow. So. Jeez. Oh. Look at that black sand. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the gold, a little bit of it there. Okay, there's gold all through it. Which means, yeah, it's going in the concentrate bucket. So, I'll just dump it in this one, and then I'll just uh, put it all in the concentrate bucket. And I gotta pack all this crap up and get ready to get out of here. So, yeah, flash fire over there. Out of this bucket into this bucket. So, there we go. On my way in here, I lost my hat somewhere up in there. So when I go up out of here, I'm going to back trail where I, the way I came in and find my hat. So this is a pretty intriguing place. It's amazing to me that, I mean, there's got to be some other spots where there's a streak of gold too. But there's a lot, a lot of rock and some of it's bedrock. And, um, most of what I got was right along this inside bend, right on the extreme inside of the inside bend. So, 
All right, well, you know what I'm going to say. I'll see you all the next time I see you. Oh, by the way, it's like 70 to 75 degrees down here. I was not prepared for that, but it's probably like 30 at home, so. <laughs> anyway, if I don't see you, and I probably will, everybody have a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, like I said, I'll see you all the next time I see you.